aim to inspire. What's the name of this film? Who's getting the final point? Karate Kid. <laughs> oh, Nick, oh, we've got a tie. We've got a tie now between Jacqueline and Nicola. Very impressive. It is the Karate Kid. This is a film from the 80s. It's a story about a boy called Daniel. Daniel, he's having a tough time at school. He's getting bullied. He's getting karate chopped left, right, and center. But luckily, he finds a mentor in Mr. Munyaki. And this man right here teaches him the ways of the karate and, you know, trains him up. And eventually he enters a tournament where he faces, where Daniel faces some of his high school bullies. And guess what? Daniel wins. He throws a crane kick into the face of one of his bullies and everybody cheers. It's a great film and I'm sorry if I spoiled it for you, but you've had 40 years to watch this film. So I feel it should have been done by now. But what I find really interesting about the karate kid is how it inspired so many people to take up karate do you know how much karate grew in north america after the launch of the karate kid any anyone want to take a guess as to what it might be percentage wise like 200 percent 200 percent from anna any other guesses just shout them out I was going to say 50. 50% 50 from Nicola. So we've got 200, we've got 50. Anything else? 70. 70 from Teresa. Okay, it, it went up by 40%. 40%. Okay. <laughs> but the point is that's still huge. That's still a lot more people going into karate dojos. So you've got to ask yourself, why was that the case? And I believe it's because the karate kid has the three Ps. The three P's, and you might want to write these down. It has a clear, or it shows clearly the problem, the path, and then finally, the prize. The problem, the path, and the prize. So the problem. The problem in The Karate Kid is that Daniel is getting bullied. Anytime he gets into a confrontation, he's helpless. And if you think about it, that is actually a universal problem. How many of us actually know what to do if we were attacked or we found ourselves in a conflict? Very few. So it's revealing a little bit of an insecurity there for many of us. That's the clear problem. Now, the path to overcoming that problem in the Karate Kid is to take up karate, right? So there's a lot of this film, a lot of the film shows Daniel going through this journey of learning the basics, slowly progressing and upping his skills and it sort of shows you the journey that you would be on if you took karate all right and then finally the prize what is the prize well the prize is when when daniel defeats his bully when he has that that feeling of i am no longer helpless but victorious i am now confident that i can handle myself i have more belief in myself that was the prize of the journey of the path that daniel went on and obviously those three things inspired a lot of people to take up karate. So what does this mean for you? Well, with regards to your business, what you do, your product, service, or idea, you have to think about the three Ps. You have to think about describing the problem to the audience clearly in a relatable way so that they can connect with it. Secondly, you need to show them the path to overcoming that problem. Maybe it's working, with yourself, maybe it's buying your product, maybe it's taking this certain course of action, changing their way of thinking in a certain way. You need to talk them through that specifically so they know what that journey would be like. And then lastly, the prize. You need to describe to them what it will be like once they have completed the training with you, once they have taken your advice, where will they be compared to where they are now? How will have things changed going forward for them? And if you can do those three things in a compelling way, if you can talk about that problem, talk about the path, and then talk about the prize, people are going to be far more likely to want to work with you and what you do.